Hey guys, it's Mina here and for today's lesson we are going to be going over some Korean expressions. Before we get started, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more Korean content. So now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to say cheap, expensive, and free in Korean. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first one is sada. Sada means cheap. For example, if you wanted to get some clothes and they happen to go on sale, then you might think that the price is cheap, so you'd say sada. If you think that something is very cheap or really cheap, then you can say 정말 sada or 진짜 sada. 정말 and 진짜 can be used interchangeably to mean really or very. So again, very cheap, you can say 진짜 sada or 정말 싸다 The second one is 비싸다 비싸다 means expensive For example, if you went to a restaurant and you saw the menu and it was a lot more expensive than you expected then you can say Wow, the price is very 비싸다 Price is very expensive or if you want to go to a K-pop concert but the tickets were more expensive than you expected, then you'd say 비싸다. The tickets are very expensive. And just like for sada, if you want to say something's very expensive or really expensive, then you can say 정말 비싸다 or 진짜 비싸다. Fun fact, you can actually also use sada and 비싸다 to describe people as well. When you say 비싼 여자, which is expensive female, or 비싼 남자, which means expensive male, this means that the person is of very high maintenance. So what that means is that the person is going to be harder to please, not easily impressed, or someone with just really high expectations for his or her significant other. So in other words, if you say 비싼 여자 or 비싼 남자, it may just mean that they're harder to approach because there's so many qualifications that they expect in their significant other. And now the third and final one is going to be 무료 and 공짜. Both of these words mean free, complimentary. 무료 is more formally used and 공짜 is used in the more informal way. For example, 무료 나눔 is used when we want to share things or goods to people for free. So in other words, it's like a giveaway. If you guys have known me for some time, you guys will know that I love to do 무료 나눔s or free giveaways on my channel when I hit certain milestones and I'm very excited to give my next K-pop giveaway in the future. And so we would call this 무료 나눔, free giveaway. 공짜 also means free of charge and complimentary. So for example, my Korean lessons on my channel are 공짜 to you guys, which means they are free of charge, and I do hope they are fun and helpful to your studies. That was it for today's lesson. I hope it was very helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! 안녕!